Maybe what's the relationship between Wewe and Nangesh? Eh, I just Nangesh and Shah Vuka Boda Huko. I'm going to go to Mbele. I'm going to manage a city team. Ah, yeah. Either to Nini, the Katika, you're a vibe. Lots of beautiful and amazing people. Of course, it's your girl, Jackie Givan, Dania Tumbili, TIV, and you know. Today I'm bringing for you an amazing, amazing guest. Watch her as introduce. Hello. Hello. Bambo. What's up? Uko Ajin. Uko Poa Kabisa. Mm-hmm. And the Freya Kukua Tumbiri TV. Yeah. Mm. Maybe tell people who you are. Um, Harry King. Mm. Harry King on the beat. Producer wa Kaveve Kazoze. Wow, speaking of producer wa Kaveve Kazoze, how is Ngesh? Um, Ngesh Uko Poa. Uh-huh. Maybe before Kaveve Kazoze came, Mlijuana Jen Angesh? Mlijuana tu, Ivo Kama Mekam Studio, Kakipiga Session Kama Spider Clan, Ivo Ndo Tulijuana. So like there was no any relationship before? Ah, Pana, Ivo Kwa Ivo Tuyo Ya Kazi. So when you guys met, Nani Alikuja na the idea of Kaveve Kazoze? Hmm. Hando alikamu na hiyo idea kazoze kazoze Mhm Walikuwa watano Sika wa spider clan Mhm Nda wakakamu Ilikuwa ya bebe na hitu wa rien genji Mhm Sa lakini ya nye Ilitoka tu inje kama Kazoze kazoze Mhm So like kazoze kazoze Maybe in the clan The spider clan So ilikuwa watu watano Who wrote the song? So Kila mtu wa Kuandika vasi yake Na they pick one person To do a chorus So That's how they do They pick one person to do a chorus Then the rest Kuandika vasi So tunapata producers uchangia pakubwa In the coming out of a song Maybe huu lichangia je kwa kaveve kazoze Of course Nchangia pakubwa Sababu Hata ikikua recorded We came moja moja Alafu Ile ndo Ujaribu kukoch mutu Haito at least vizuri It took a lot A lot a lot It took a lot in terms of what? Of time Trying to coach them Sibabu kuna wengine hadi Kufuona bit Nona ni ngori So hata ukiona wakio off kidogo Maybe He Ivo wamejaribu tu jukuna ingina wanatasa mtu tu mbaya So maybe in the clan of five Nani was the hardest person to deal with? Line ya nani lisumbua sana? Nani ya lisumbua? Eee Acha nisichome lakini Auchome suma tuambia tu Kwa kuna mmoja hapo Hata watu tu wanasikia Kwa yake kuwa hard sababu Nuna record kawadu kwa mmoja Ukikata kawadu kwa mmoja ukikata So ilikuwa ilikuwa tricky Ilikuwa tricky sana 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 So maybe after the Kaveve Kazozo Wewe kama producer Like the lines za Kaveve Kazozo Kwa tunapato ngini wanasema They're uneducative Hazi saidini ninini Maybe you when you likuna produce the song What was your aim? Mama likuna chaka unajaribu kupas Which message to people? Of course mimi Wangu likuwa kutu ile Wezi itaka kufunja mtu moyo So, awa uji wanajiamina wako natale Singe wambia tunye rudini mbani So, mi tunye Ndi wafanyia sababu Nipuwa ku Kupea watu moyo na kuwa push Maybe better Mbele ni watakuwa better Ok, while doing this song Kaveve Kazozi, maybe did you expect Kwe hit song? Honestly Si ya kivile Na siku ikuwa na expect So, uku na expect and then it came out to be a hit So maybe how did you feel as a producer? Of course, nili enjoy After kuona ina trend kwanza kwa tiktok vibaya sana Nika enjoy, nili bambika tuwe nye juu Mabuizo mepata chance ya kutokelezea Na usha itoa any other hit song before? Obwa si mwata watawa, lakini si hati nzile zine zimeenda hati sana Maybe zine zime hit punta Kitu kaya hiyo Batisa nona hiyo ilienda kabisa 
and it was a nice feeling yeah. also obvious napata ngoma ikikuwa tamu many people tend to tafuta the producer maybe by this kuna wenye walikutafuta watu wale ngoma eh of course nimetafutwa na watu wengi na at least nimepata chance ya kufanyia watu kadhaa ngoma mhm eh na enjoy sana si kama before eh at least sasa session iko kibao mhm eh so maybe any other benefit yenye umepata kutokana na the ngoma kaveve kazoze eh na the ngoma itself mhm eh pata sema tu ya kujulikana nini kupata client yani hivyo eh hizi zingine hapana in fact nyingi hata ni bila sasa kusumbuliwa tu I know ndio you guys amekuja kwa studio yako you guys have produced so maybe before what, what what was the chemistry between you and Gesh ama you and the spider clan Ah uh, wako tuile kufanya ngoma kuwa guide um, kuonesha the way hapa kule eh uh, wako tu hivyo yani tu story tu za ngoma wafanye wa hiyo kwa kebisha ilikuwa tu hivyo tu inaendelea tu hivyo mzungu. Sasa tunasikizana tu poa. Now as we speak kuna very many things kwa mtandao and you know maybe what's the relationship between wewe na Ngesh? Eh, hiyo za Ngesh alishavuka boda huko. Um, Ameenda ende kwa mbele, akona manager ashiki simu. Um, ah, ya ile tu nini ilikatika ile vibe gesh manager before maybe what happened in lifanga and not necessarily at manager wake mhm but i used to nilikuwa na guide mhm na guide pale hivyo alafu afika ngoma ime hit kwa mtandao mhm ngoma ile hit they don't know what to do with your wave so alikuwa tu ametulia na kuna robi hawajui wanapewa simu so ngoma ime hit nataka kwa najua kitu ya kundi so ilikuwa kule kwa guide 1212 na through your process ndo nikakumbuka ni nika niko na best nika dm kama anaweza come through kokolea how he kikosi na ilikuwa ni tumbili Mm-hmm. Oh speaking of Tumbili Shimpata there's a lot ngesha ameongea mm-hmm. and then we've also had the response from Tumbili mm-hmm. maybe wewe kama the producer the manager what can you say about all these dramas uh, okay miss manager wake okay. lakini mhm eh hiyo venye alikuwa anaongea ili ni heartbreak banze so what bambi? do you mean by heartbreak eh hey. I didn't expect her to talk that ill of to to me. Mm-hmm. Sababu mimi nakumbuka wamehita wajui watachukua direction gani. So nika nikabonga na tumbili, akanikola akaniambia ana kama naivasha. Yeye tu mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. So after ku come naivasha, some boys wengine walikuwa wako kazi. Hata yeye alikuwa anataka kuwa meet, but mm-hmm. how ndo wako patikana. So mwenye alipatikana alikuwa Ngesh. Mm-hmm. Nikampea namba na commit na tumbili so tumbili akamuonesha onesha akampeleka peleka plus 1212 in fact hata watu wakajua more about her so hii kukuja kusema na kuongelesha tumbili design kama hiyo haikunibamba sababu najua hii pia inakuwa na mambo na najiona nikaa huko juu hadi unasahau mtu alikushika mkono hiyo hiyo sio fit So tunapata Ngesh hapo kwa another interview alisema like yeye alikuwa Nairobi before si tumbili si, si tumbili alimleta Nairobi and wewe mm-hmm. umetuambia like mm-hmm. tumbili came for Ngesh akiwa huko mm-hmm. and akakutafuta wewe mwenyewe uliwa link up and uh, they met mm-hmm. aka I'm sure 1 2 3 mm-hmm. then uh, kuna story pia Ngesh alisema like uh, tumbili alikuwa anasema hana simu mm-hmm. yet she had a phone maybe wewe ulikuwa na reach Ngesh aje kuna just hata mwenye hiyo kosi ala niyo bro yake flani anaitwa Mwasre so hiyo ndo mwenye spider clan yani na communicate tulikuwa tuna communicate na yeye a lot ndio nilikuwa nilipata namba ya Ngesh nilikuwa nayo sikuwa na communicate na yeye ati sana hata hiyo kusema ati alikuwa na Nairobi unajua anaweza kuwa Nairobi anaweza kuwa na Nairobi but haijui connections link na watu So 
maybe ali misunderstand hiyo but mkuma nyal muonesha hizi njia huko kule alikuwa mtumbili mm. like wewe uli ulikuwa communicate na ngesha ama you had the same thing ukimpigia like the brother and anashika simu ah mwanzo mwanzo tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye one on one mhm tuna communicate na mwambia kuna msee atakukola anaitwa tumbili anakamu atakupik eh na ikakuwa mzuri sababu akaweza kumita hadi watu hata from, from there ndo tata ngeshi na kabiliko zoze ili blow out vizuri ikajulikana vizuri mm. uh, so we find out that kuna ngoma kina ngesh the spider clan walitoa juzi maybe when do you produce here ama <laughs> when you toa juzi mm-hmm. si si mimi ah uh, si mimi na just sasa after um, after um, hiyo ame, amekuja huko Nairobi kwa National Police 122 ah uh, afta siku kadhaa tunaenda ku call simu jua ndio na alikuwa anakola ana confirm na mimi kitu so ifika mahali nikienda ku call inachukua na msee ananiambia ni mimi so hizo hadi nimepata deal deal mzuri ya do nimeataka confirm na yeye alafu naambia ni confirm na mtu mwingine so eh hey, kenda tu hadi mimi mwenyewe nikabweka So like ukaboeka now you are not like uh, are you willing ama ukitoa another chance that tutolea ngesh ngo mnaweza mtolea Of course naweza mtolea sababu unajua hii miangu mhm mimi naweza enjoy ukiona unafanyia mtu kitu afu hiyo mtu ameenda uko hivyo nje life yake ika change unaona Yeah sababu it's a good feeling ukiona unafanyia mtu kitu alafu life yake ina change but tena hiyo mtu achukua ni mtu uko unajua ni mtu mzuri tena kiburi imemuingia alafu no, you know how the industry is unajulikana leo kabisa na kila mtu but ujui kesho yeah usaulike unaona mm-hmm. sasa itakuwa haja gani ngoma hii hivi alafu isikusaidie mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so pale kwa mtandao tunapata very many people have mm-hmm. sided with the tumbili like uh, watu wame msifu like he did something good to gesh many people knew her through to mbili ni nini mm-hmm. maybe kama wewe, wewe kama the person who linked our tawili up mm-hmm. uh, what's your take ama una side na nani <laughs> of course uh, hapa hivi mimi nda give credit to kwa tumbili cuz ngoma ile hit how how could you have any to reach out to nje but through tumbili ndo nikakwambia ngoma ika tembea vizuri kabisa mm-hmm. but Sisi blame ngeshi vile. Kwa hiyo unajua <coughs> unajua hii watu wakianza kukua onio sana. Kuna vionaza jisahau, kapaidi kakushike. Unaona? Yeah. So I think ni kitu kama hiyo maybe ana akikata mtu atamwangaisha vizuri. Femi si mbebe. Discipline. Ju eh Sidhani hata kama mtu amekukosea ama hajakukosea. Hafai kuangalisha mtu ashaye kusaidia mahali vibaya. Mm. Okay. So tunapata ngesh met so many people including the senator Karen Nyamu mm-hmm. and uh, tunapata when they met with Karen Karen Nyamu mm-hmm. like it wasn't that successful ali promisewa arudi back. Maybe mm-hmm. hizi chances zenye anapata ku meet na watu how can you advise her? sasa hapo ndo alikuwa na, anahitaji mtu professional kama tumbili. Ndio hata ukisema unakuliwa mm-hmm. sababu mimi sioni kitu ya kukuliwa. Si ati tulikaa tukasikia ati anapiga show ya do mingi afu tumbili akakula percentage kubwa akampea kidogo. Hatujai sikia kitu kai hiyo unaona? Yeah. Si ati kuna do na kami. Lakini ikifika ni hapo mali do na kami ndio huwa mnakaa chini tunaongea. Mm-hmm. Na kama kwa approach mtu kama nyamo you need you need someone mwenye anaweza ongea on your behalf. Si kwenda kwa mtu mkubwa then hujui uta, utamwambia nini inatoka mkono tupu. Hauna ile power ya kumconvince. So hapo ndo unahitaji mtu professional. Laka, lakini yes sa advice ya watu ili mwambia tumbili anamkulia. Of which sasa anakuliwa nini? Yeah so speaking about professionalism tunaona alisainiwa kwa garage mm-hmm. like kwa garage maybe <laughs> how did you check this as a producer wa Kaveve Kazoze Mimi nilicheka tu sababu ito, it was funny ilikuwa funny though sikujua ni nikusainiwa ya ina gani 
kwa garage unaona ingekuwa ni kwa kwa label ama kitu fulani hivi ingekuwa ina make sense but kwa garage kwangu haiku make sense alafu ni mtu mwenye hana background ya music so ilinishtua tu hadi nikashindwa kwa nini aku consult watu mwenye anaweza msaidia mm CM mwenyewe alisema aliona 2018 na mm-hmm. aliendelea kusema kuwa like i Kenya kama hujachanuka unaweza mm-hmm. kuliwa maybe amechanuka kivipi wewe venye unaona ngesha amekuja Nairobi ni nini mm-hmm. anadai sasa hivi amechanuka mm-hmm. maybe what can you say sana juu hiyo kucha, kuchanuka na kuonea 2018 ndio mm-hmm. ningetaka hata mimi kujua ni gani So, sijika kuna do alikuwa anaona tumbili akipata yenye hea yenye tumbili amfikishi mm-hmm. so sielewi hapo sasa hiyo kumuonea yutini maybe angetuambia tu zaidi ni nini aliona hiyo mm-hmm. ndo akatoka tumbili kwa sababu wakati alikuwa na tumbili jina yake bado ilikuwa inazidi tu ku grow yeah. uh, so sijui ni nini li happen mm. So in all this kuna somebody is coming in between that is the brother brother Angesh maybe he is the one mwenye ana advice mm-hmm. ana advice ana mm-hmm. mwambia what to do who to meet and what 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 mm-hmm. so maybe what can you tell the brother yes sina eh sina kitu ya kumwambia lakini hata mimi hii issue ya kusema atukipiga interview na mtu anakupea do Sielewi sijui kama kuna kuanga hivyo mm-hmm. sielewi sababu ni najua mimi wote mna benefit hiyo una 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 unajulikana huko hivyo nje mm-hmm. na utakuta through hizo interviews mm-hmm. watu wanaenda kucheki maybe kitu yako kwa YouTube naona watakufollow pia wewe yeah. so sijui do inakamia wapi kwa interviews na na msanii ama mtu eh yeah. So pia alisema ti like when they were with Tumbili hakumfungulia their accounts the social media accounts hmm. um, maybe wewe kama producer when you likuja wa produce the Kaveve Kazoze mm-hmm. did she have any Instagram TikTok hizo accounts za social media Eh hmm, sema so shikana account Sasa so sema Tumbili alimtumia hakuwa anataka kumfungulia accounts and so on Alikuwa na TikTok inaitwa siji Ngesh 032 demo vasha mm-hmm. Instagram alikuwa anajiita Mary Ngesh Ngesh Mary Sasa mm-hmm. hapo siji mm-hmm. lakini mimi najua alikuwa kuna handles zake And so we find out that hata uh, after while fall apart na tumbili tumbili still tried like kumfunika and what so na pata vile alikuwa anauza the sling bags bila kasema maybe hiyo ni video shoot and the rest mm. like he was still trying to help her na ye, she didn't uh, aku recognize the efforts of tumbili maybe mwambie eh, kitu i think pressure inakujia wapi mhm naona hiyo kupewa ngoma leo mm-hmm. ngoma inaweza enda lakini kuna mechanism ya kumake do yeah naweza toa ngoma iende tu viral kabisa mm-hmm. lakini do do iko na iko na process yake ya kukam of which mm-hmm. later kama uko na discipline na uko focus boy ta come to eventually lakini uwezi itoa hit leo ugoje ikupe do leo kuna process unafaa kufuata maybe kuna mtu ana mislead on that mm-hmm. eh yeah, unajua sasa unaweza enda show upe el, tano leo mm-hmm. wakati ungeji si of which sio mbaya lakini kuna vile unaweza tengenezwa na mtu ukupe PL fan ni mega kwa mko 50k. Yeah. So I think that one makes more sense. Mm. Speaking about pressure, uh, tunapata tumbili alisema Ngesh mm-hmm. hana the patience ya kuongoza. Maybe mm-hmm. did you also feel the same as a producer? Definitely. Mm. Unajua mimi kwanza pangu nimekuwa nakuwa blamed na watu about her. Wengi wana feel nafaa kumshika au guide atisijui jua alitoka na kaveka zoze yenye mimi niliunda mm-hmm. nafaa kuwa na yeye afu bado kuna pressure hawa boys wengine mm-hmm. hisi hata tuongelelei hawa wengine yeah. tunaongelelea huyu huyu mmoja yeah. so kuna hiyo pressure mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na try mm-hmm. na um, nampeleka na places hivi na hiyo ni ile tu time ya kwanza wakati jina imetokea kwa hivyo nje yeah. so Maybe I alikuwa na perspective fulani ya msanii 
ya ukistep out tu hivi do do tu kakuwa hard unaona nika hata mimi nikaona nikaona nikaonea mbele e, kabidi hata e, nitulie tu nisake maneno mengi mm. maybe what advice can you give to ngeshe bum advice like the producer the person who stood by her mwenye alianza naye advice ngeshe kiangalia kamera <laughs> mimi chenye naweza mu advice ni kumwambia akue mles akue na discipline alafu apunguze tu ile pressure ya internet hata hivyo atakuwa fit jua kwa na talent akopoa watu wamemkubali but mm. respect akanyange pole pole unajua hii industry iko na wenyewe alafu you don't know about tomorrow so mtu akiona una reactia mtu alikusaidia hivyo mm-hmm. kunaweza kuja mtu mwingine anataka kukusaidia mm-hmm. are angalie tena ulifanyia aje mtu mwenye alikusaidia akosa ukusaidia so you akuwa mpole ako na talent mm-hmm. ya afanye tu ngoma zake but um, asiasimes tu na watu mm-hmm. eh na na akuwa successful kutakuwa poa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. where do you think it in the next one year size ni ngumu ku, ku predict do <laughs> <laughs> mimi na wish the best na hiyo prayer yangu ni ati mtu mwenye ulitoa yeah abla a, a kwa successful kwa hii industry hiyo ndio furaha yangu eh yeah. so akiavoid these pressure zote na muona akiwa msanii mwingine mm-hmm. big sana mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so as the person mwenye ali link up ngesh na tumbili maybe tell tumbili something ah uh, mimi naweza kuambia bro yangu tumbili ah uh, iza jo kwa zenye kuli happen mimi na Joel kwa kwetu na ile goodwill ya kusaidia mtu. Na si ati joy incident moja akosa kusaidia wale wengine. Of course najua ko heartbroken. Ah, ameboeka juu ya kusaidia hawa wenye wako chini. Yeah. Unasaidia mtu alafu leta anakutoka. So unaona hiyo inanyima opportunity pia watu wenye wangekaa map. Eh lakini asi give up tu. Uh, asaidiane tu hivyo wenye anasaidiana. Eh God that I'm blessed. Maybe to clarify your relationship the relationship between you na Ngesh because watu nadhani mmekosana wengine wanadhani you are together just clarify no, of course um akata niambia watu kuna watu wengi wenye wanani approach wakitaka deals na hizo uh, collab na Ngesh wengine wanataka aka perform acha tu niwaambie hapa si mimi niko na yeye na wakitaka kumreach wa mreach through yo msemo mwingine Eh jusa mimi atubonge hata na yeye ile ati communication uko aje kwa aje wewe hatuna beef na yeye tuko tu poa kabisa mm. maybe as a producer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what again unaizambia the ka brother tunapata ndio na advice ndio anafanya kila kitu ngai she is the current manager mm-hmm. naenda nagonganisha watu what can you tell him uh, kwanza skills zake za kuongea na watu a uh, aende azi 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 fanye zikuwe poa sababu hiyo unaweza mshaipigiwa na na media fulani they want an interview, an interview. but hiyo venye alimwongelesha hadi nika, nikatukano hata mimi nikaambia we bro huni nani unanipatia naongea na yeye so unaona a mm-hmm. uh, ajio kuongea na watu alafu kama hajui kitu heri ya confirm agaidiwe itakuwa poa eh So, so to the spider clan now the rest apart from gesh the rest tendele tu kutoa madoba na manoma tendele kupush us give up mm-hmm. eh yeah, better things are coming mm-hmm. wako free could do anywhere sababu mimi sifanyi at now but now i wish the best sababu nakwambia raha yangu ni kuona wakio fit yeah. mm-hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Mm-hmm. So guys that was one on one with producer Harry the hit maker wa Kaveve Kazoze. If you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button. Till next time bye.